takes a long time to negotiate those deals. For more than a year, the plot of land at Foch and West 7th in Fort Worth has sat empty because like the cultural district itself, it's growing. It lays out a lot better. Uh, it's a lot more efficient. Um, I think it's got better sight lines for the tenants. Brandon Schubert works at Goldenrod, the group behind the mixed-use development, and shared new renderings of the project that now includes 226 apartments with 100,000 square feet of office and retail on the front. The project is now expanding to include the two buildings next to it, but it's what's happening further down the road that makes it even more noteworthy. I think the area is primed for a lot of new development. In early fall, Crescent Development will open a luxury project with a 200-room hotel, 175 apartments, neighboring 160,000 square feet of offices. It's right across from the art museums where Scott Wilcox works and chairs the Cultural District Alliance. It's always had a lot of people coming to it, but there just wasn't enough to do once you got here. New development could mean new traffic headaches, and Crockett Row has struggled with tenant turnover, but Wilcox and Schubert say the new projects make the district a destination. We think the, the more that comes online, especially in, in terms of quality, um, will definitely help. We don't really want traffic to flow through the cultural district. We want it to flow to the cultural district. The Goldenrod project could break ground in June and open by March of 2025 adding life to an area ready for growth. The economics just weren't there for the developers, and now I think they are. In Fort Worth, I'm William Joy.